basically I was getting managed by someone in the building and mm. um again I think a lot of this started probably when um when COVID started and then it's like I think I was probably at my most insecure now because I'm like you lot have slowed me down I've slowed myself down and this just I just want out of this mm. I just want like out of this or just trust me to be me in it mm. and then i found out my manager was working at the label so mm. i was like that's a big conflict of interest yes. mm. that's a so i don't even know how you're representing me because you could anything you're saying like you could be trying to save face mm -hmm. and it's like the label had an impression of me that i'm very difficult and i would mm -hmm. always say like yo I, maybe i can be a bit difficult because it's your art in it but mm -hmm. at the same time I don't know what that person is relating on mm. my behalf. Yeah. Mm. So then it's like, what's happened is, is that it's got to the um, end of my deal mm. and then, or the end of the first part of my deal. And then they didn't want to pay for the follow-up advance. Mm. They were like, yo, we want to like, like we want to carry on with you, but we want to pay a hundred grand less. And I was like, that's violating the contract. Why don't mm. you just let me go? And it's like, nah, but I, I own you. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. And I like recorded that conversation. And then... Hold on, literally they said, I own you. Literally. So I was like, bad. I feel uncomfortable with you saying this, innit? Who said that? The the label guy? Or the manager. Or the manager. One of them, yeah. I, one of the, well, you don't have to say the name. Don't have to say the name, but someone in the building. I just wanted to know. No, I wanted to know if it was not, not manager, the manager. But someone in, my, someone in the building. Someone, yeah. Who your manager also works for more indirectly. Yeah, and then so I'm, get it. the manager that worked with the label was, you, yeah. was like yeah man you should just take that deal i said yo you know i know how much i've made this label right like mm -hmm. i like i know how much i've made this label i'm not taking that deal that don't make sense mm -hmm. and they're like um yeah well you know like we're not sure where this is gonna go so i was like let me go then mm -hmm. i was like i know where this is gonna go let me go mm -hmm. yeah. they're like nah but we really liked working with harley caprio like da -da -da -da. i was like not that much yeah yeah <laughs> Mm. And on yeah. top of it, they were stopping you from bringing out release of music. Yeah, that's what they'll yeah. do. That's what they'll do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm like, you're not letting the story progress in it. Like, mm. like not every song am I trying to hit here, 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 here. Let me just carry on my story, and then you know, like, bro, Drake don't drop Hotline Bling mm. every day. Mm -hmm. That's his biggest song, mm -hmm. but he's not trying to drop that every day. I was like, you lot want me to like have a career that's huge or you say you want me to have a career that's huge and you're not expressing myself you're not letting me express myself so then what's happened is um i've again this is my negligence of who where i was at at the time or how i was at the time mm. my manager was the person that connected me to my lawyer Oh, it's just yeah yeah yeah, yeah so now nice. yeah nice. so, so now you're in a spider web now yeah. yeah 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 so i'm like telling my lawyer yo like i want to leave i want to leave like da, 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 and he's just like oh well mate you know like like this is a mm. tough situation but yeah you should be able to leave i'm like but you're not acting on it mm. because wow how can they keep me and offer me less that's that's them violating mm. the contract yeah and then um yeah so then what happened one day i just i just sat to all all of them i got a new lawyer yeah and I've got a new manager. And even actually, I had a manager that was a friend mm. saying, nah, you're not getting out of this situation. I was like, bro, how can everyone try and wrong me right now? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just meant to be a victim of this right now. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like in my heart, my heart was saying, you're not getting further with these people. Mm -hmm. uh, the day I sat to my brethren, yeah, the next day I got everything that I wanted. Mm. Like I got a deal that was like yeah. four times more. Come on. And I was just like, bro, like, for you niggas said I weren't getting that. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? And then it was like a 50 50 deal and everything. And the manager that had been like working with the label and saying I should take 100 less, he was like, look, mate, like, you know, like, look how things work out. You got like four times more. This is wicked. <laughs> mm. And I was like, bro, like, I was like, no shame. You, yeah. know? you get me? And it's like, these men, I'm just like, I'm just like, wow, like you lot really tried to get me whilst I was weak. And during that period, I was venting to them. I was like, no, I'm not in the best place, man. And they took advantage. Yeah, so that leads me to the question I was going to ask you. Come for one, you're saying they're taking advantage there anyway. I ask you personally, I'm not going to make a judgment call. Do you think they care about you? Do you think them labels care about you as a, 